How would Copic markers compare to Posca paint markers? Which one would look better? Let's find out. Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to another Fun Friday video. Today I'm going to be coloring in my Gothic Cuties coloring book that I made. And in this book, it has two duplicate images. I'm going to color the first image using only Copic markers, and the second image using only Posca paint markers. And I chose these different markers' colors to be as close to each other as possible, so then we can see the difference between these two types of markers. This is the latest episode in my series where I color in my different coloring books I've made using various different art supplies or like color techniques, color schemes. I encourage you to watch these videos, especially if you want to learn different coloring techniques or how to use different art supplies. Also, if you have a copy of Gothic Cuties with you, feel free to color along. If you don't, you can get your copy on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link's in the video description. So this is actually the very first time I've used Posca paint markers. And yeah, I, I was thinking, how is this going to look like in my coloring books? Because I usually color in my different books with like, you know, uh, alcohol-based markers or sometimes like dollar store markers, uh, pencil crayons and all that, gel pens even. So this is, you know, it was a different experience. And right off the bat, I noticed because it's, you know, Posca paint markers are paint markers. The ink is opaque. Uh, it covers the line art. So I had to be really careful to like not get the tip too close to the line art in my coloring books, but just close enough so it fills in the area. So that was a little challenging. Another major difference I found out when I was using the Posca paint markers versus my Copic markers was the fact that the Copic markers um, had the brush tip nibs and the Posca paint markers, they just had the like the little dull tips, but they were quite hard. They were not very flexible and obviously they're not like a brush tip. So that made a lot of difference in how I wanted to handle the coloring in these pages uh, because with the flexible brush tip of the Copic markers, I could, you know, it's it's really um, like I can do these organic looking strokes and I can go into tiny small areas and corners without going over the lines because it's very easy for the tiny brush tip to just, you know, go into those places. But for the Posca paint markers, the tip is very uh, stiff and it's not like it's not based on my pressure, so it doesn't matter if I uh, have a lot of pressure or I have a little pressure, the thickness of the line that it makes is the same. So I had to really be careful on small areas, and I did go over some of the lines in little areas, so I think I needed to be more careful of that. And I was just thinking later on, like when I get to her face, how am I gonna color her lips and those small details in her eyes and like not color in the highlights of her eyes with my Posca markers? So that I don't know yet. Overall, I think the Posca paint markers like colors are brighter and more vivid and obviously it's more solid. You can't really see my actual like strokes. And then the Copic markers have this more of an organic feeling to it. You can see my strokes and the colors tend to be more on the softer side. I can't wait to see how both of these uh, look like when they're done. I'm gonna add some striking black in the background now to bring out everything. And then let's compare the finished pieces at the end. 
Yeah, the black does look really striking. On the Copic side, I had to leave some little white areas for the highlight in the black, but on the Posca side, I actually tried to use my like lighter Posca markers, like the white one, to draw little uh, shiny areas or highlights in the drips. So that's another like difference in the technique. I've also recently made two new how to draw books which shows you how to draw different anime styles for different eyes for male and female characters. More info's at the end. Get your back to school art essentials on my Mii bookstore on Amazon. Links in the description. I had to be really careful when I was coloring the small little facial details with my Posca markers. Okay, now let's compare the difference. I think both of them look so beautiful in their own ways. The Copic is a little bit more muted, more subtle, and the Posca is very bright, very vivid, and vibrant. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you in my next video really soon. I've just released my newest how to draw books called Draw Eyes in 10 Anime Styles, Female and Male. These books will show you how to draw in 10 popular anime styles step-by-step step, with color-coded steps. These full-color drawing books are like having me as your personal art teacher showing you what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it. Ebooks and paperbacks are available on the Mayu Bookstore on Amazon. Kickstart your back-to-school shopping and get a head start on your art education and drawing practice with these books, as well as over 100 how-to-draw books on all kinds of topics on my Mayu Bookstore. Have an inspired back to school. Happy drawing.